guys, it's Game Ramer here. And as you can tell, I'm already giving it away. So this is a series where I go out there and I try and find the craziest video game items state by state. So this is Gamer Aimer Travels the World. And I decided to take a trip out to West Virginia. And this right here, we'll just jump into it. I had never seen one of these before. So with going for a full Nintendo GameCube set, because I have that awesome KB Toys cabinet that has the Nintendo 64, but it's also been converted into a Nintendo GameCube, you know, whole store display. It's just wild. And then having the GameCube kiosk, finding more standees. I don't know what it is, but these things tend to just jump on out right in front of me. But I've never seen Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. So I'd never seen one of these awesome store displays, and this one is pretty unique. So I will say that this is a double-sided, full, like, cardboard store display. It looks like this right here is, like, just kind of, like, anchored on here. You have, like, little plastic clips and stuff on the side. But it looks like on the top part, there are some holes. So I'm curious to know if this would have been hanging in the middle of a store. So like this massive gigantic cardboard store display would have just been like hanging in the middle of a store back then to go ahead and promote this amazing game on the Nintendo GameCube. This one is really a fun one and I just absolutely love how this effect looks because you have this like shiny effect. It has like all of this attention to detail and it's just really cool. So it says Nintendo GameCube at the bottom there. Just has a lot of this like cool detail work on here. It actually looks like this is textured, but this is a very smooth cardboard finish. So this game is one of the most impressive games on the GameCube. So I absolutely love all of the different spaceships in this game. You have the X-Wing, the B-Wing, just so many different fantastic ones. And I love how you get to, you know, just fly throughout these different missions. And I love how you have the whole cockpit views. They look spectacular in this game. And it's, you know, difficult to get medals, but this is a really fun one. So this is one that I have to dive into a little bit deeper, as I remember briefly playing some of these games back in the day, but I'd like to compare them, you know, in today's standard. But this is just so cool. I've never seen another one. And as you can tell, it's like pretty thin here has some plastic little pieces, there's holes on the side, and it is completely double-sided so that you could see the same exact thing. So that's why I'm thinking that this was probably like hung up in a store, something that would just be like front and center of attention, or you could even, you know, stand it up. I have it propped up, but this is a really cool display. So I wanna know, have you ever seen a display like this? And would you have picked this up? I actually got this, not sure which one will come out, but with my Quick Flip Friday video that I did, I was actually able to pick up this standee and paid pretty much next to nothing because of that. So this is a really fun one and just one that I'm excited to cross off the list. So West Virginia has been good to me and I can't wait to see where I go next and what items I find next. Is this going to be the year of store displays and standees? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out all of my other videos and stay tuned for more.